Alright, so tonight's movie was Dial M for Murder. This is an Alfred Hitchcock movie. It came out in 1954. Stars Ray Millard, Grace Kelly, Robert Cummings. Uh, again, with most Alfred Hitchcock movies, you can't say too much without giving the movie away. So I'll try as little as possible to tell you what a fantastic movie this is. Uh, Dial M for Murder. Again, Hitchcock kind of feel to the movie where you're at the thriller, suspense, you, it's a crime, it's drama, it's everything and more. Uh, with this movie you find um, Tony, uh, played by Ray Millard, and his wife Margaret, played by Grace Kelly. Um, Tony is an old tennis pro who no longer plays um, and he finds himself kind of dreading lots of things in life so him and his wife kind of, uh, they both make each other the beneficiaries of each other's wills. So if she dies, he gets his money. Her money, if he dies, she gets his money, so on and so forth. Uh, so he eventually plans to kill his wife. And he tries as best as plans as possible to think of a plan that he thinks in his head is perfect for killing his wife. Um... And then when things start going awry, he has to think of it another way and try to make sure that everything goes as planned. And of course, things always happen that you don't expect to happen. So again, Alfred Hitchcock's Alf Erm for Murder. Very, very chilling. Very Keeps you on the edge of your seat sitting there thinking, what's going to happen next? What is this guy going to plan on doing? And it's just, again, a fantastic movie. With the name Alfred Hitchcock on it, it's very hard to find a movie that isn't such a, a captivating story that gets you right there wanting to watch it and just learn more and just find out what's going on as if you're one of the characters sitting right there having everything played out as some murder mystery. Uh, again, IMDb gave it an 8. I also gave it an 8. I definitely recommend people watching this. So again, one of those ones you just sit there on a rainy night and you just watch it and just be entertained.